Forkle. <laughs> so somebody saw it, said that in the comments. It's not a Forkle, it's a Forkle. For Forkle. That's a beautiful sight, folks. I was about to buy one of these on Amazon for uh, my smelting activities. I do apologize for not getting to that yet. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. That's actually got a decent little hard hat. Mendez. That probably came from, uh, I think that came from the chicken factory around here or cargill or chicken turkey processing oh forkle uh forkle <laughs> i got forkle stuck on my lips forkle that's a green speckle bag So that's about 25 to 30 dollars for me i don't have to spend now la di da -di. last time these were in here i missed out on it it was all the armrests these are actually all the, the back seats um there's not very much metal on there i came back last time Here's one. It was full of these. I came back and they'd already dumped it, so I missed out on that. But, uh, that's nice. Actually, this one's different. This one, that's almost all steel there. That's nice. That's a good chunk right there. Lawnmower. Haha. -ha. My golf ball video I made, for those of you that watched it. It turns out I think a lot of those golf balls were hit by a lawnmower. That's why they're cracked open. Thank you to the person in, or people in the comment section that may have said that by now. But the original person that said that, I appreciate that.
so windy out here today. Try, try to block it out the best I can for you. That appears to be fancy schmancy. Actually old and faded. <laughs> I thought it was factory sealed. Hold on, let me check it out before I start talking. <sighs> Never mind. I thought I had myself a brand new dog leash. Instead I've got a used dog collar. I'll take that to the scrapyard actually. too short for me. Yeah, short little dog leash, that's not fair. So that, that buckle there is actually made out of aluminum. That's kind of surprising. And then the that's made out of steel. Steel. And uh, the most important part is made out of aluminum. See me walking backwards in this video it's because I'm blocking out the wind. It's pretty pretty gusty. It's the worst kind of wind, right? It's not sustained. So if it was sustained, I could constantly prepare for it. But it's the big gusts. Ah, oh, if I get that off there, I'd rather do that. There we go. I was gonna have to break the whole toilet, so I might drive down this road and say, hey, there's a new toilet. I think I'll have it. Oh, it's broken right there. The porcelain's still nice though. Plastic, 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 plastic.
a little gold plate on that one. That's an interesting little circuit board. Looks like someone had a little uh, Christmas display or something. See that Christmas lights on that, whatever you call it, lattice of some sort. And uh, they used, <laughs> it looks like they used dog chain spiral stakes to anchor their little, whatever it was. And uh, those are not cheap, man. I think they're just steel. Yeah, stainless steel on the dish. Nice pieces of steel down there. Three of those. Four of them. Oh, the 
wind blew something down my throat. <gasps> right in the back of my throat. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm trying to keep the camera out the wind. Oh, I don't do much good when I can't talk. Okay, so. Four of those. Those are probably 10 bucks a pop, aren't they? At a pet store, maybe more. It, um, so let's say. <laughs> Forty dollars, right there, probably. Boom! I could open. I guess I'm gonna open my own uh, dog tie-out store. <laughs> Catch me on eBay. But uh, I was thinking I could put this here. I think it's too tall. the good stuff right there i'll get number one for that stuff i'm gonna cut the plugs off of course that's the good stuff <laughs> I am gonna open my own dog tie store on eBay. <laughs> Number five. One, just so you know I'm not scamming you. Two. Three, four, five. A couple little putty knives and another dog leash. What's going on, folks? Ah. I guess something about the cloud cover today said <laughs> everybody throw away your dog leashes and your dog tiles. Today's the day. That's kind of a nice one there. That's for like a little. A little fancy pooch. A little bling bling pooch. You cannot hide from me, Mr. Copper. Before I still find you.
<clears throat> I don't mind cans, except for when it's windy. <laughs> and I don't mind cans if they come from a slurper, right? If they come from a slurper lip. What's a slurper lip? A slurper lip is a person who gets every last drop, right? So <laughs> the cans are dry. That's pretty, like I, mean, I talked a while back in a video about how a lot of this stuff I'm doing, I don't explain. I've never even really thought about explaining it because I really don't, when you do something for a long time, have tons of experience, you don't really intentionally, you know, it's just experience. You do it, it's from learning, right? It's something, something that's learned. See that? That's a slurpy lip. <laughs> This is probably all from the same person at work. See that? It's a sl slurpy lipper, so they're all dry. I don't mind dry ones. But uh, they're really not worth much, is it? But the point I was getting to is, I, I do things that I don't explain. It reminds me of uh, when I was a kid, arcade games came out, there was Pac-Man and there was Galaga. Have you ever heard of Galaga? There's a, in Galaga, one of the space invaders comes down and they spin around usually but one comes down straight and it puts out a little ray and you're supposed to get in that ray it takes your ship up and then and then later on you get double ship after you shoot that guy so uh i never realized in galaga how i knew you know which which one of those little things was going to come down but it was a pattern like point i'm getting to <laughs> Not very successfully. It, it was a pattern, right? The little Galaga guys would spin around and do this and shoot their stuff at you. But then one would come down straight, and that was the cue, right? I, I, I say that because I remember the day when I I was like, how how do I know which one to which one's gonna shoot that little ray out that you get in to get double ship? And then like a couple weeks later, I was like, oh, he comes down straight, and the other ones are going like this, right? There's <laughs> That's just something you don't notice, but your mind is built to just, you know, kind of like riding a bicycle. You don't really know how one day you, you learned how to keep your balance. You just, you just did, right? <laughs> Anyways, that wasn't a very good explanation, so I'm sorry for hurting your ears, but I think you got my gist, right? That's Slurpy Lip. Been making videos since late 2016. I've never mentioned slurpy lip till just now, right? And I could just tell from my experience, these were nice dry cans. Someone in here, probably a worker at the counter answering phones and and people that, there might be customers that occasionally walk in there. I think it's more like a distribution place, but uh, uh, anyways, yeah. <laughs> There's a slurpy lip in these parts. And uh, also paper, there was Napa catalogs in there. Be on the lookout for your scrap yards or places where you live that might start buying paper while these scrap prices are so high. They might start buying paper and plastic and cardboard and clothing if you want to keep an eye out for that. Hey, get off my back! <laughs> Somebody in a video a while back told me to get one of these telescoping poles for like when there's water in the dumpsters or whatever. I can reach all the way back. That's a good idea. The reason I don't carry stuff like that is because it uh, ends up getting damaged. 
and I don't really have anywhere to carry it. I could put it like here, but actually, you know, I, I might actually start to consider something like this one. Like my little lightsaber. <laughs> When I first started doing this, I did carry uh, one of those grabbers, the grabbers. And after like the third one, either blew out of my bike or someone stole, I just stopped doing it. This is a really nice, high quality, well-made laundry basket. This is kind of like a Rubbermaid. It's kind of like my totes. It's not the same company. Hipster, made by Cornerstone. That's a nice one. So put that right there. Someone, someone around here is going to probably snatch that up. That's nice. Whoa, I still got a little hook here. This is dangerous. Don't do this at home. Don't do this at home, folks. I'm just putting around at slow speeds here. I showed this last time I was here. There, continuing the job. Look at that, folks. That's amazing. <laughs> You wouldn't think there'd be that many toilets in this apartment complex. The whole dumpster is full of them. Big apartment complex, folks. Oh, that's what the U-Hauls are for. They're bringing the toilets in. Aha! Not sure why they're replacing all the toilets, but they are. It's kind of strange. Unless they've had flooding problems. What's that, man? What's all the toilets for? What, they replacing them? Yeah, I said the book. Yeah? Did it flood? Nah. Did it flood? Did it flood? Did it flood? I'll take my consolation prize and get out of here. I don't think they understood what I was saying. Look at that. That's a piece of aluminum, isn't it? Huh. What you doing over there, Mr. Aluminum?
looking at my old Etsy accounts last night. Just <clears throat> thinking about starting my own website. I was kicking around maybe doing it on Etsy to start. Or just maybe doing it on Etsy. And selling some of my some of my uh, smelting creations. And uh I once sold on Etsy, I once sold the end of a fishing rod like this. I think I only sold one, but I probably could have sold more if I wanted to. End of a fishing rod like so. And I had some pheasant feathers, tail feathers, and I just sold the, tied on there with the string. I sold a couple pheasant feathers, tail feathers, the rod on fishing line, tied to the feathers, with some extra fishing line. Sold it on Etsy for cat toys. <laughs> It sounds it sounds stupid, but this pheasant feathers, man, just is the, the ultimate cat toy, right? Because I got the wild smell in them. But uh, that just made me think about that. Okay, back to scrapping. <laughs> That's how a street scrapper scraps a fan. <laughs> of course, I'll clean that up just a touch before I cash it in. But that's how it's done, folks, right there. In the wintertime, this one just went <laughs> and flung all over the place. Now that it's warm, one little bit that I saw maybe a second little tiny bit right there that i didn't see and uh, the rest just goes like this ah okay so there's some but in the winter time it would have been probably hundreds instead of uh like a dozen right here you know what i'm saying okay let's go blubber face <laughs> So a chunk of Romex. Just trying to figure out what was going on here. Not tornado damage, I think. Looks like it's been through a fire, doesn't it? Actually, <laughs> that actually looks like this, that's where the fire started. Look at that. Huh. Electrical box on that Romex. Toasted. That's interesting. I didn't realize till just now. Huh. Alrighty then. It's gonna wrap it up, folks. I sure hope you enjoyed tonight's show, uh, today's show. 
this afternoon's show. As always, thanks for watching.